Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, chemistry episode chemistry and today we are looking at the two other factors that govern the preferential discharge of a ion during electrolysis all right and in the previous episode we'll look at what the position of the ion in the electrochemical series where we saw the electrochemical series for the cations and the anions and of course we dealt what it is what a lot okay so if you have not watched that video please go to that video now and watch and watch it okay now today we are going to be looking at the two other factors that is the what the concentration concentration of the ion in the electrolyte and then secondly we are now going to look at what the nature of electrode use the nature of electrode use okay now it is very important to know that what this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the old school jump app it is all you need to succeed in your exam if you have not what uh, downloaded that app from play store and started practicing with it you are doing yourself wonderful features you have what the question side feature the utme challenge which is a bomb it's a question that what is a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam every year imagine you are what participating in mock exam every week till one week to your exam all right you are seeing your scores you are seeing that ah almost um, this maybe this week you score 190 uh, um, i need to work i need to work hard out in the next week you score 200 in the next in the next challenge you score 205 and know that what you are competing with other students and you are winning prizes all right so the challenge is on the app it begins very very soon so please download the app immediately and what and start what practicing okay this is a question from the o3 school jump app is being displayed on the screen right now they said uh, it's a 2016 question number 13. they said a concentrated solution containing hydrogen ion plus and what cu2 plus is being displayed on the screen right now uh oh minus and cl minus was electrolyzed using platinum electrodes they said the ion that will be discharged at the cathode is we're giving a cu2 plus giving b cl minus and giving c h plus by giving what d o h what minus okay so we are told what which uh uh which of the uh, which which of the ion will be discharged at what at the cathode okay now we will not we understand this we do not what understand what the issue of what concentration of the what of the ions in the electrolyte okay because there in that question we're told concentrated something so since it is concentrated that means the issue of concentration will come what into play that's why we're looking at what do this what these two factors when we are done with this we'll go back to the question and what we'll pick the most suitable answer and reason why it is what is the answer all right please download the app immediately activate it as it as at the time i was speaking with you right now the app is just three thousand right people are rushing it okay so please if you have if you just download activate immediately click on activate at the top you see where the road buy activation key uh, after you click on buy activation key you see three options for activating one you can use your atm card to activate and to be activated automatically you don't need to bother yourself or call anybody if you do not see the activation you will be sitting even in your email all right then of course you can transfer to the o3 school account and then what give us a call on 0912151 so let's see the concentration of the ion in the electrolyte now the more concentrated an ion is in solution the more concentrated an ion is in solution the more likely it is to be discharged you get that the more concentrated an ion is in solution the more likely it is to be what to be discharged okay now the issue of concentration concentration however is known to die away with distance with distance the issue of concentration is known to die away with what with distance this means that what if the distance between the world between the ions in the electrochemical series is fairly large if the distance is very large then the issue of concentration will not affect the discharge but however if the distance is not large right if the distance is not what large then what the more concentrated what a ion will be what will be discharged all right so please understand that the the concentration of what of the ion in the electrolyte is a factor that what that govern the preferential discharge of a ion during what electrolysis i'll repeat again i said the more concentrated an ion is in solution right the more likely it is to be discharged and i also said that if what 
the distance between what the two ions that are that are going to the electrode for discharge is very 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 large then the issue of what concentration was will die away okay and of course the issue of concentration will not affect the discharge in that condition but if the distance is not is not large okay if the distance is not large then of course uh, the issue of what discharge was also uh, the issue of concentration what we are fed the discharge okay for example we are seeing let's say no the electrochemical silica and a c a m g a l f e z n uh king Nathan cannot mobilize all uh all okay all zona forces since power has changed hands uh after approval Okay, so this is like the electropositive series, right? So if I considering like sodium and what and uh, and uh, lead now, for example, okay, if I considering sodium and lead, you can see the distance between sodium and lead is very large. So the initial concentration cannot affect this one yet. Eh? But if I talking about let's say calcium and aluminum, you can see the distance are no what they are not large. I'm talking about what hydrogen, I'm talking about copper. They are very close together in the world in the electrochemical city. So you see that the issue of distance will, will not what affect this. Okay. And of course, the issue of concentration will affect which one will what will be discharged. The one that is more concentrated will what will be discharged. If they told you that what hydrogen is more concentrated, or the copper is more concentrated in solution, then it will be what it will be what it will be discharged. Okay. So now the issue of concentration. I said it's known to die away with distance. The distance between the two ions in the electrochemical series is fairly large. Then, of course, the issue of what concentration will not affect the discharge. Okay, so now that I've seen that, let's look at the nature of electrode what's used. Let's quickly talk about the nature of electrode what's used. Please, if you have not liked this video, what you're doing is very wrong. Liking the video will make other students like you easily what find this video and what and make use of them for success in their exam. So just as you're watching the video, just click on that thing that looks like this, right? And also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, what you're doing is yourself because subscribing will send notification to your phone immediately what you uh we immediately we release any new video okay so you don't need to be told you don't need to come and see it you don't need to come and come and search our channel once we release a new video you will get notification on your phone and you can join us all right so now let's look at the nature of electrode use the nature of electrode use right so now affinity of a particular ion some ions have what affinity they have love for some electrodes all right, they have love for some what electrode. So affinity between a particular ion and the electrode combination can what can facilitate the discharge of that ion. Okay, the affinity of a particular ion, affinity that is love, love, affinity of what of a particular ion and the electrode combination, electrode combination. Right, will facilitate the discharge of what of that ion. Okay, an example. Now let's see an example. Of course, is affinity of what of sodium, of sodium ion with, with what with mercury electrode, mercury electrode, which results sodium and what sodium has love for what for the mercury what electrode. Right, which what results in the formation of what we call amalgam alma gum please take note of that okay so uh this is what sodium what alma gum okay so affinity between sodium and mercury electrode results in the formation of what of sodium what alma gum of sodium what alma gum which what makes what sodium to be what to be discharged right during the electrolysis of what of sodium salt using what mercury electrode all right so that is that for that about what electrode okay alma gum is like an alloy it's an alloy Okay, so and uh, say so what the nature of what of electrode use. I'm saying affinity of a particular ion, all right, and the electron combination. So and the electrode combination can what facilitate what the discharge of what of that ion. Give a very preferential what example like what what like sodium love with what with mercury what electrode the information of what sodium what amalgam. Okay, this is the formula NaHg something like this. Okay, so please. Take note of what this other what two what factors. That's how most time you see that okay they'll say uh, uh they will use what they will say electrolysis or so so and so using what inert electrodes. I mean the electrode will not affect it. Will not affect what uh, the results. Okay, and then they will give you what a uh, 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 
a yons, all right? This will uh, give you a yons that have uh, affinity for some more for some electrodes. So, however, it's come, just know that what, for example, the nature of electrode use, right, will only affect it, right, when that ion has what affinity for what for the electrode. Okay, so now let's quickly jump to that question that we skipped at the beginning of the class so that we'll now what uh be done with this video. They said a concentrated solution containing a concentrated solution containing are giving hydrogen a ion by giving Cu2 plus, they are giving what OH minus, okay, and then we are giving um we are giving what Cl minus. The question is being displayed on your screen right now. They say a concentrated what solution, okay. A concentrated the word solution they say the ion that will be discharged at the cathode okay of course you know that what uh the cathode is what the positive ions what will go to the cathode the negative ions will go to what to the anode all right so now now which of them will, will be what will be discharged at the cathode okay now if you look at the electrochemical series hydrogen and copper are they close they are very very close in the electrochemical word series they are very very close in the electrochemical series all right now normally the one when we talk about the cations, okay, we have explained in the previous episode when we talk about the position of the ion in the electrochemical series, where we're told that the lower the ion in the electropositivity series or in the electrochemical series for the cation, the more likely it is to be discharged. That means normally copper is supposed to be what discharged in preference to what hydrogen because copper is lower than hydrogen in the electrochemical series. But because of the issue of concentration and because of the distance between both of them, the distance is very close. That is why we cannot ignore the what the what the concentration of what of that of a ion in what in the what in the solution or, or in the electrolyte. Okay, so that is why hydrogen ion will be discharged in preference to copper. You get it now. That's why hydrogen ion will be discharged in preference to what to copper in the what in that what in that solution. Okay, because what because of the issue of concentration. The question say concentrated co the is a, a concentrated solution containing hydrogen ion, copper ion, hydrogen ion, and what and chlorine ion. All right. So normally copper will be discharged, but because of the issue of concentration, hydrogen will be what will be discharged. All right. Please make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and make sure you are you are sharing our videos. My name is Master T. In the next episode, we are going to continue our study on electrolysis. Thank you for watching.